Hello and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at just a quick look at how to create the perfect sized Facebook cover photo. I'm on Facebook, I see all my friends, sometimes they have a great cover photo, sometimes they don't and it's usually because the cover photo they picked was a standard photo that either they upload it with their mobile device or they just put it in there and they didn't really get it to be the right size so it just doesn't look right. So I'm going to show you how to create the perfect one using Photoshop CS6, but you should be able to do this with any version of Photoshop, uh, just following the same or similar steps. So let's take a look. So I have this uh, lion photo. I just came back from an African safari, and I love this shot, and I wanted to make it my Facebook cover photo. But of course, if I make it my Facebook cover photo, there are two problems with this particular picture. Number one, your profile picture is going to be in the left-hand corner of the photo. So I'm going to potentially be blocking part of the lion just with my own picture with all this wasted space over here for the grass. So the first thing I did was went up to my image menu, came down to image rotation, and I flipped the canvas horizontally. So that way the lion is just simply facing the other way and quite frankly no one will know. <laughs> the next thing is we need to crop the image to the exact size we need and that's where this tutorial comes in. So we're going to go ahead and grab our crop tool. Now of course this is the new crop tool in CS6 where we can drag out a crop or simply use the handles. But in either case the main thing that we need to do is type in the exact dimensions for the crop we want. And those dimensions are 851 pixels. So make sure you put the word or the um, abbreviation PX and by 315 pixels. So that is what you need to do. Now the reason you don't want to just put 851 and 315 without the PX is that in previous versions of Photoshop it will assume inches and that could be that could be resulting in quite a large file. You don't want an 851 inch file. So that's why we put the PX in there by PX so that it knows we're talking pixels. Now we can still move the image around in the cropped area just to get it perfect the way we want. So I'm going to bring the nose up to the top of the crop just a little bit more. And then once we're satisfied with the way the crop looks, we'll go ahead and click OK. Now, of course, that made the image smaller because I was working with a high-res file. But when we go up to 100%, that means that this image is now, first of all, being viewed at 100% of its size. And we're looking at 851 pixels by 315. So this is exactly how it will look on your Facebook profile page. And also know that your profile picture will be over here in the lower left corner. And again, I'm not blocking anything when I do this. Now the last thing we need to do is get this saved out for a web file. That'll be nice and fast to load. So we'll do a file, save for web. And when we do that, again, we don't have to change anything here in the image size because it should be identically the size we need. It should be exactly what we want. The only thing you're going to toy with is whether or not you want JPEG medium quality or JPEG high quality. Now when I do high, it brings up the image size to 112K, which of course is going to take longer to load, versus medium. So what you'll have to do is look at your image when you, you know, do both of these changes because when I switch it to medium, it will go ahead and render that image on screen and show me exactly the way it's going to look versus if I do low versus if I do high. So you have to decide is the size that it's going to increase the file worth the quality difference that you're going to see. And quite frankly going down to medium I can't see any difference with my eyes whatsoever. So medium is going to be fine and I'll just go ahead and click save. We'll put this out to a location where we'll know where it is. So I'll save it to the desktop and I'll call it uh, TW Lion Facebook Cover. So that way I know exactly which file it is when I save it out there. We'll save it and then we'll head over to the web where I've already uploaded it using the change cover feature and that's how it looks on my profile. So again my profile picks in the lower left hand corner here and the lion picture looks just right, just the right size. Uh, upload it to Facebook and I even put my little logo on it in Photoshop as well. So that's how you create the perfect Facebook photo sized picture using Photoshop CS6 or previous versions of Photoshop should also work including Photoshop elements. But the main thing is the 851 pixels wide by 350 
by 315 pixels high. Thanks again for watching. My name is Terry White. Enjoy your Facebook cover photos that are perfectly the right size. Take care.